Hi, friend. Hi, friend. We're back. We're back. Well, it's been a while that we uh, were on the channel. Um, we left off in France last year uh, and we left you hanging, but um, that's because of some circumstances uh, and we will explain why. We're on the road again since uh, April 1st and we're heading uh, to Scandinavia. But first uh, we wanted uh, to do the fairy tale route in Germany. So in the coming uh, videos we will show you our adventures on the road again. We are now at a wonderful place of Simonskal uh, in the mountains, in the forest. And next to us is a little stream. And we have some nice walks here, which we will show you in this video. And um, I have a lot of uh, hay fever. So if you see me sneezing or... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot sniff. <laughs> um, I cannot sniff in the video. We'll but cut it out. We'll cut it out. <laughs> but I already feel something coming up. So... Be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> uh, this is the beautiful Eiffel region in Germany. Uh, it's about 20 kilometers from Monschau and it's gorgeous with uh, hills, um, streams, a lot of forest. Beautiful. Why it took us so long to be back on the channel? We were very busy with work. I had a lot of students uh, visiting my studio, having lessons, having uh, workshops. And also we built on our new online school. We wanted to be more independent with our own platform and having everything on our own website, which is called Brave Art Academy. Uh, the fun thing about Brave Art Academy is that you can do video learning there and that we have our own social groups. So we're independent of Facebook. Also, we have uh, recorded two new online workshops, one about flowers and one about art journaling and introduction to art journaling, which is the thing that we want to continue while traveling. We started our journey on April 1st, like we said, and then um, visited our daughter Gina in Arnhem. And her friends. So that was a beautiful weekend that we had there. We had some walk in the woods. We visited the city of Arnhem. Because Anthony needed new shoes. I needed new shoes because uh, a day before we left uh, <laughs> my, my shoes, uh, we were barefoot shoes. And my shoe that is uh, for hiking started leaking and you don't want leaking shoes. So we had to buy a new pair. And so we did in the city of Arnhem. After that, we've been to Grave. We had a wonderful location uh, at the Maas River. Uh, we've been into the city and uh, bought some stroopwafels. Uh, it was a really, really old city. Stroopwafels. Stroopwafels. Hey! 
Next day, we moved on to the little town in Brabant called Velp, and uh, we only would like to do a stop for water, but uh, there was another camper van there, and we met some very like-minded people, so immediately it was like coffee, cookies, and we decided to stay the night there, which was very nice because we had a little uh, walk, about six kilometers in the surroundings, beautiful pond with geese, little geese, um, and we had a nice walk in the farming region. So that was, that was pretty cool. And thanks our neighbors, Monique and Eric. Yeah. Greetings from Germany. Nice Germany. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> After that, we've been for a full week on the camper site of Sint Odilienberg uh, near uh, Romont. Uh, we've been there because we had a good uh, Wi-Fi signal. We had um, uh, showers. showers, very important. And as a cherry on a cake, we had fresh asparagus uh, at a nice shop on just around the corner from the camping. Uh, site. We had uh, nice walks but we had to do some work too because we had to edit the uh, online course art journaling. Also we've been uh, I've been working on a new art project. I did an online course to keep myself going uh, in creativity. Uh, we had lovely weather so I could work outside. For this trip, I'm using two art journals, the Dino Walkley ones, and this is the one with my main art journal, uh, my, my, well, just about the trip. So this is one I made, and this is one I made in Sint Odilienberg. And the other one is dedicated to portraits. So this was something that I already made at home. And this one too, and these are the ones that I created in Roemond, doing an online workshop about imaginary uh, portraits. After Sint Odilienberg we moved and we crossed the border with Germany and we stayed at a, a very nice uh, park for night spot in the woods in a town called Wassenberg. And we did some nice walks there in the woods and the next day we moved on because we wanted to go to the place we are now. And on our way, like halfway, uh, I saw a very, very large hole in the ground, which uh, turned out to be a mine. And it was amazing. It, uh, so deep and so large, it's, it's crazy. I think it's uh, coal that they mine there.
And we arrived at Simon's Gall, which turned out to be such a wonderful place. We wanted to do some walks, we wanted to sit in the sun, but we ran out of water. So we had to go to the city, which was 20 kilometers uh, through the mountains. Uh, we did some groceries and I've been to the uh, hardware store to get some uh, wood for a project. So then we could turn back to this wonderful spot and it was still free. <laughs> We've spent uh, three nights here and like I said, it's uh, the uh, most amazing uh, surroundings. We had some awesome walks. <laughs> Look at that. Workout. Workout. And still some meters to go. Herzlich willkommen. <laughs> das ist mein neues Haus. Awesome walks, steep hills, nice views, gorgeous views. Gorgeous uh, flowers. Gorgeous flowers, there's a cherry on the cake again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the end of our walk we stopped and I noticed a field of white flowers on like kind of an island yeah. uh, near a bridge. So it, it, was, it was like a fairy tale starting already. Mm -hmm. um, but. We have to leave because uh, there's another challenge. It's not only like we have to get water sometimes. Uh, we can, I think we we do three days three with days. our 100 liter water tank. So uh, we're good for the cup, couple of days more. Uh, but there's also another challenge and that's because we have been on the road for two and a half weeks. We run out of clothes. Well, yeah. most most of them most of most of them are <laughs> underwear and socks, <laughs> but uh, you know uh, we have to do some washing. Uh, the fun thing in Germany is that there are not many washing machines alongside the road like you have in France, where there's almost in every gas station or shopping mall there's a laundromat. Uh, but um, in Germany it's not. So I spotted one, and we're going there first, and then we move on south to the city of Trier, which is close to Luxembourg. And then we will start a trip along the Mosel River. And after that, the real fairy tale route will start. Yes. Yes, we're looking forward to that. Yes. And uh, you will see that in the next video. We hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time. See you next time.